I'm Safety Scissors, and welcome to my Singaling, where I talk to artists that you like about songs that they like. Singaling. done karaoke a couple of times a few times yeah do you have any uh, favorites i used to sing drive by the cars a lot but i had one really bad performance that kind of ruined it for me yeah um i was singing karaoke in portland and i had just on drive and this old man like pulled me aside and he looked like a ship captain like a like gorman's fisherman ship captain pulled me aside and he said i would love to hear you sing lady in red you little white car it's like a the safe on cause the start is temperamental call your boyfriend it goes to voicemail and leave a message baby get me please wait at the wonder man read a magazine tear out the page of the picture of some shoes you get impatient go to a cafe see a girl from your high school but she look away the booth i like the booth a lot more in the stage because it's uh less scary do you have a preference have you done booth karaoke before no 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 oh i i think i'm really terrible at karaoke i have a really hard time engaging myself <laughs> it's really fun seeing with other people well it's because you haven't experienced the booth i think maybe okay you can let go Okay. I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? There's definitely a relationship to doing covers and and to doing karaoke. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've done yes. Paul Simon's Graceland. Mm -hmm. I've heard you do the Prince cover. Both of those are released, and mm -hmm. I heard you do the Bruce Springsteen yeah. cover. the difference between uh, singing a song of your own and mm -hmm. singing a song that someone else wrote on stage and releasing that song I think well what's nice about covers is that it's already written so you can be extremely picky about it so I feel like it's almost easier to find a song that matches you more so than one you could write yourself and that one you really have like a strong like emotional attachment to like I think I've been easier time singing songs that other people have written and it's easier for me to like belt those songs i guess would you ever want one of your songs immortalized in that'd be amazing the karaoke book I would love it. Which song? Yeah. Oh, if I had to pick one? Yeah. Um, I think T Tonight Was a Disaster. It seems like a very uh, singable song. You're out with your 
best sweater on With every intention of dancing till dawn When the DJ played that song It all went wrong Crying in the cab ride home With the Frank Sinatra on the radio But it might as well have been Lil' Kim When every song you hear still reminds you of him When you first started making music did you know you wanted to sing songs? I was like the idea was writing songs for other people to sing much more, just because I hadn't really sung in front of anybody. I recorded some songs I had written and just let my roommate hear them and be like, I have these ideas for songs. And he said, They sound pretty good. You could probably just do it. But now it's part of you so much. Like, mm-hmm. it wouldn't make sense if someone else was singing your well, songs. I, but now I'm in a position where people actually are interested in singing, so I can rope in friends occasionally. Like, I don't know. That I th- almost feels more satisfying is to see the song sort of applied to someone else's voice and it sort of exist outside of me. And I feel like I've actually made, created something more so. I keep looking at your questions. But, um... <laughs> cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's fun in the Sort of the idea behind the name is that it was supposed to be Cassia Tone for the Painfully Alone. It was intention to like market it towards the Painfully Alone. Like to sort of let you know be in that who you're supposed to in be, the CD store. and this is what you get. But it wasn't really intended as like as self-referential as it's is read, and I think it would make sense. But I don't know. Like I'll be play shows, and people walk up to me. It's like, excuse me, are you painfully alone?